All right, what's up, guys? We're back with some more Total War Westeros. Um, unfortunately, the game crashes every time I attempt to attack this army right here under Captain Lin. But uh, the good news is he's a really weak army, so he shouldn't be that much of a threat. It's just annoying that I can't take him off the field. I could I could kill three units right here, but I can't because the game just crashes. <laughs> um. I mean, it's it's a mod, so what can you do, right? Uh, we have, who's this? Seaworth, we're going to siege out Duskendale. Let's get um, ladders. Two turns. Let's get three ladders and make it one turn to build. Relations worsen with Ren Renly, or the Stormlands. Renly's dead. Melisandre wants more audience. Another son. Son. Show me. Show me more. Excellent. Another another, another shadow creature. Let's uh, bring him to Storm's End and see if we can find anybody. Nope. Uh, there's no one in Storm's End. See if we can find a random army marching around, maybe. Oh. No. He's too far away. Oh, there's another castle right here. I didn't even know that. Sebastian Errol? Huh. Haystack Hall. What's this? Loyalty? Can... Can castles... Turn over their loyalty? I never... Wait a minute. Was that the general? Himself? No. I don't know what this is. But they're 100% loyal to House Baratheon, which is me. I'm House Baratheon. Why aren't you fighting for me? Renly's dead. You have no... There's literally... You have no claim to the Iron Throne anymore, guys. Um, Let's fight this battle of Stannis, though. 210. Lucian Penrose. Versus 400 Stannis. Uh, we're gonna fight during the day. Lucian... Penrose is a pretty strong commander, so hopefully this goes well. I have a theory that um, maybe I just can't do open field battles, which really sucks. I might have to auto-resolve my open field battles, but I am I know that the siege battles work at least, so that's good. Um, a moat surrounds, looks like around 50% of the castle, so we're going to attack from, not the front, because we'll get hit by too many towers, we're going to attack from the side, we don't even need the ram, honestly, let's drop the ram, get the sellsword bowman over here, uh, island, mariners, marines, they're just marines, stop calling them mariners, ladder, Cell swords, gonna have to get up those walls. My cell swords are my strongest unit in this army at the moment. And I mean, I don't, we're not really recruiting a lot of people, so. Those cell swords are the strongest unit in my entire kingdom, it seems like. So let's, oh, we fought in this um, place before. So there's only two ladder spots can fit. Let's try not to get screwed over by these wall mechanics. Archers. Those guys are going to be tough to deal with because they're just stuck on that wall. Spread these guys out so they don't get hit by too much arrow fire. Uh, we'll run up my own archers. The shoot. Uh, crossbowmen. You guys can run up and shoot. Losing a couple guys. But that's to be expected. Come on, men. You can do it. You don't need me to double click. You can figure out how to get the wall ladders on the wall. There we go. Nice. Oh, I'm really proud of you guys. Now you just need to get up there. 
send a unit to run run to open up the gate for me uh, we don't need fire arrows we just want regular arrow shooting go no resistance coming up these walls so that's good we're just under heavy arrow fire so that's nothing we haven't experienced before and here we go here's our here we come over the walls let's um Send the men to attack. Actually, let's send them down to the courtyard. Because I'm not too confident about this attack on the walls. Let's run them down. It looks like the spear levy are coming down here to fight too. So we'll fight in the courtyard. Which is fine by me. We'll send another unit up to the walls. What's the spear levy doing? Just standing there, it looks like. Giving us plenty of time to set up. Can't complain about that. Gonna set up our men. We'll have to watch out for this, uh, for any surprise cavalry charge from the general, though. Here we go. Charge at him. We're gonna set up our spearmen to try to counteract any cavalry charge that might happen. Get our archers on the wall. Who's shooting at us? Oh, they have those... They're doing this stupid trick where they have the archers half in the uh, square, so they have infinite morale. We'll have to go deal with them. Okay, so their spearmen are split up in two groups. We cut the bulk of them. We cut the bulk of them here. We also have a uh, quite a few of them over here as well. Our men are winning the battle. Continue like this, we will smash Let's get the these uh, mariners over here. Marines. <laughs> Call them the marines. We need to get the marines on this wall and this wall, and then we'll pelt the uh, enemy general. What are they doing? They're probably going to go through the gate. Hopefully that works out for them. Uh, we're gonna win this fight, which is good. Like I said, our uh, like I said, my cell swords, just doing work, chopping through these guys, like butter. Their cavalry could have done something to try to prevent this, but they decided to sit around and do nothing. Oh, yeah, their infantry is broken. Let us um. Let's get Stannis in here. Throw your stuff, guys. Come on. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that does so much damage to the enemy generals. Yes, look at that. We're forcing the generals to uh, combat us. Countercharge the general. This is going to do a lot of damage with his... Yeah, look how many killed just by walking into us like that. Oh, but we're cutting them down. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Hopefully, we can kill the general. Come on, keep throwing your stuff, guys. We might get um, friendly fire, but 
they're throwing extremely precise. That's extreme. That's really impressive, actually. Look how precise they are. Wow. Um, Stannis, go deal with these. Uh, there we go. There's Stannis in the background charging. Only half the enemy force remains. Send our units to go take out those archers. While Stannis and uh, company deal with what we can in here. Look at this. Like, it's just weird how they have... They have, like, archers in the circle, so they have infinite morale, and you can't do anything. Like, you have to manually maneuver your troops right on top of them. My lord, our men are in command of the castle. Um... End the battle. Excellent. The we, we lost 60 men. Um, and we killed all of them. So that's good. Excellent. Just those archers. That castle setup is just weird. We captured 25 spear levy. They're definitely not going to ransom them, but I'm going to try. Oh, what? Ransom accepted. All right. Um, I don't know where they went because I still killed everybody, so maybe we just took the money. Um, influx of nobility, of course. Now we're going to try and hold out here for a little bit. Let's get the marketplace. That will increase our trade goods. Parchments, since Stannis is here, I'm going to have to ensure it doesn't fall, because if it falls, Stannis dies. So we don't want that. We might actually... We have 4,000 gold. Let's see if we can recruit anyone. Or we can recruit a couple people. Um, let's go for... Um, what's it called? Let's go for uh, more people over <laughs> quality. Quantity over quantity is what we're aiming for right now. We can get peasants. That's the uh, definition of quantity over quant quality. We'll get three qu peasants. Um, what else? And then some more. Let's get some uh, more cell swords. Yeah, thousand gold. That's fine. Who else? Who else? Pikemen. Like, we have a lot of money now, so I'm pretty happy about that. 2,000 more gold? Like, we can get a ton of people. Um, let's get some... Some Queensmen. Let's get two Queensmen. Excellent. So where are they going to be? They're going to be at Dragonstone. So let's get a fleet... Back home, I should have three fleets. So we have one here, and we have two here. Um, Salador San, yes, go back and defeat this admiral. Davos is gonna stay in the area around Stannis just for protection. At the moment, we're just gonna raid uh, Tarth. Okay, so let's see how this siege is going. Oh, that we still haven't done. We haven't still haven't moved the turn. All right. Let's see if we can recruit anyone at Rook's Rest. Oh, let's get Rhodes actually, and we can still recruit somebody. Let's get the Cell Sword Spearmen. I'd rather have. I need some infantry at the moment. And then end the turn. Okay, that went. That went really well actually. So I'm happy about that. This enemy army that whenever I try to engage, it crashes the game is retreating. That's unfortunate. I wish I could have taken him out of the field, but what can you do? House Baratheon is moving some fleets around. Ooh, who's this where they're trying to attack Stone Dance? 
That's not good. To say the least. But Stone Dance is where we held out last time. We can we can do it again if we if need be. How many men do we have here? Oh, we have enough men to hold out against how many? Oh, okay, so the way I'm looking at it is um, there's a general here, there's a general here. General units are grouped up together, so there's a general here. So that means there has to be a general here. So that's four cavalry units. One infantry. If we kill that one infantry, um, that means that they won't have anyone to hold the siege equipment. So this that siege should be easy to deal with. Um, Salador San, you're going to Dragonstone. And we're going to get these peasants and soul swords onto the ship. Um, oh, we spent too much money. Okay, so we're not going to get these guys. Instead, we are just going to head back to Stannis. Stannis needs to raid and pillage the Stormlands for right now. Get back as much money as possible. Duskendale will make some money off of, hopefully. Let's do it. An influx of nobility will get us a lot of money. A lot of needed money. Twelve men. But it's a general unit. And this is a very strong general, Renfield Riker. Yeah, apparently apparently his 12 men are just as strong as my 133. The strength ratio is 1 to 1. I doubt that. <laughs> I don't care how strong your 12 men are, they're not going to hold me. this castle. I need 20 good men. Watch me lose this battle now. <laughs> I just need 20 good men. To hold this castle all right well this is a huge castle or hold fast wow this is a bit different than what i'm used to okay so we have three we have three ladders but again he can't garrison the walls because he's a general so there's no there's not going to be a battle for the walls so that's good but he is going to stand right at the walls to make sure his towers shoot at me for as long as possible. Let's uh, make sure our men are in loose formation. We want to avoid getting shot at all costs. Oh, and instantly he's retreating. Okay, good. So we can move up our men without fear of getting shot. If an, if an enemy unit is in proximity to a tower, the towers, like, activate. So that's why they aren't shooting at me right now. But if there was an, if there was, like, an, if there was an enemy on this wall, the towers would start up and start shooting at me. So that's why I'm, it's safe for me to move up right now. I wonder if Riker is, like, a, a strong, um, like, if he has any veterancy. Because general units should be the same strength. So in theory, I think there's 12 of them. In theory, if I just send my general in with all of my infantry as backup, we shouldn't have a problem. The ladders are now in place. Walls Let's just no get all of our men of the north. inside. We don't even have to rush, just walk. Apparently we're all rushing. And then the general, I think this is a Seaworth. We'll stand outside the gates and wait for the doors to open. I guess it's a good idea to rush. We don't know if the enemy's going to come back. We're only using one ladder. <laughs> There's another ladder right here, guys. No? We don't like this ladder? Wow, what a... It's like the human centipede. No! <laughs> Guys, there's another ladder. <laughs> there's another ladder right here. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls okay. belong. We took to the gate? Now. Yes, we did. Now you don't even need to use the ladder, guys. We can go through the gate. There we go. Guys. 
All right, whatever. So we're not going to do anything too fancy. Just here, let's slow it down. Just group up everyone here. Oh, we'll throw, we'll pelt them with the uh, mariners first. Marines. The Marines. God, I just... I don't know why I keep calling them Mariners. And now they're coming down the ladder just to go through the gate. <laughs> come on, look at you. You were up there. I think you got back on the ladder just to come back down. But this is much more efficient. Just keep an eye on the enemy general. Make sure he doesn't do anything too crazy. He doesn't charge with us. This is the general right here, because he's the only one without a lance out. And he is slightly different. He has, like, feathers in his hat instead of, like, the ribbon. Well, this guy looks... He has the feather. Okay, maybe I'm just... I'm just bullshitting. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I know he has to be the general, because he doesn't have a... Lance. Yeah, okay. Generals don't have the lances, apparently. Um, let's make sure our units are um, tight formation, because I think that makes it harder for the enemy to charge us. What's going on here? I'm stuck? Look at the detail on the units. That's awesome. Fiery Heart of R'hllor. Let's hope going through this gate wasn't a mistake. We have a... I mean, it's only one cavalry unit, it looks like, but... This man could be the difference. I'm gonna speed up the game just a little bit, just so we can get everyone in formation. In front of me. Just like this. We just want, like, one solid mass moving forward. We're giving the enemy, like, a really good target here. To just charge straight at us. Which is probably a bad idea, but... Oh well. Apparently we can't go on this ground. See how there's an X. Like, this looks like open field to me, but... No, can't stand here. There's a don't stand on the grass sign, and my soldiers are keen to listen to it. Very nice soldiers. They should have put a sign, don't stand on the walls, and we wouldn't have come in. Alright, so, if we're all, if we're gonna charge straight down this path, how is the best way to go about doing this? Do we charge in the cavalry first? And risk having my general get killed? Or do we send in the infantry first? And risk them being charged down and killed instantly? Let's intermingle the cavalry just a bit. Let's get the marines close enough to throw. Let's hope they don't get charged. Come on, how close do you need to get? You can throw that. What's this distance? Come on, you guys can throw. You don't need to get this close. Okay, run. They dropped their lances. I don't know what that means. Okay, they put the lances back up. Okay, excellent. They might just stand here and get pelted. Oh, one down. They're charging. Okay, now we're just gonna brawl in the streets. I don't know how many men we lost in that, but I don't think it was too much. Yeah, we're just brawling now. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I hope we don't lose our general. Oh, we just lost a bodyguard. 
Come on, men. Eight of him left. Eight general. Eight cavalry units left. This is the general right here, I think. Oh, he's retreating. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. We're just poking at these guys. I I don't if I was them I would have surrendered at this point, the enemy. They may do they may cut down a lot of us, but they're not gonna win this fight. Defeat seems certain. All four or three of them are in the back here. Here's one right here. I think this is the general. Oh, he just cut down one guy. He cut down another guy with another swing. They're retreating. He's just cutting down people left and right. Stab him, stab him. Watch this not even be the general. Ooh. No, he's the general. He's giving commands and stuff. He's telling him to retreat. Kill him, kill him. Don't let him escape. Throw your stuff, guys. Here we go. Another one down. Two left. Oh, another man cut down my flag. The guy who was holding my flag. Charge him. Surround him. No. No, another another general's bodyguard. The battle is very much I'm going to lose half my men at this rate. Oh, my God. I think this is my general right here. He better not die. It's general versus general. Oh my god, we're just beating on each other. Oh, finally. One left. This is the general right here. Who are you commanding? It's only you. Oh my god, just getting beat. Who are you telling to march? It's just you, man. Again. In this situation, I just surrender. Ooh! Oh, jeez, that overhead cut. Oh, no, another one dead. Another man dead. Another man dead. He's just killing us left and right. Really, they're going to be awed that I killed 12 guys? And somehow I managed to lose. I don't even. Oh my god. Those 12 men killed 40 of us. And it wasn't. It was just in our brawl. That was. That was a bloody battle for this just one city. Bloody battle. We had one king, then five. Now all I see are crows squabbling over the corpse of Westeros. I don't know if that's true yet, but I can tell you that there's only one true king, and that's Stannis. Oh, someone declared war. A new war was declared. But Duskendale is mine. Influx of nobility will give me 8,000 gold. Yes, please. Let's get uh, Rhodes. And then let's reinforce our position as quick as possible. Let's get our sellsword. Let's get bowmen. Let's get... Uh, crossbowmen and spearmen. That should be enough to hold this position. We have a fleet that's free to move now. Let's send them... I think one of Joffrey's fleets is down here. Let's send this fleet back home. Let's send... Uh, yeah, Salador is moving here. So we have a home fleet. And then two attacking fleets. Or one, like, transport fleet, at least. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end this episode here.
Um, we took Duskendale. We took Parchments, I think. I don't know. Everything's a blur. Let's see who declared war. House Tyrell on House Baratheon of King's Landing. Really, the Tyrells weren't at war? I thought they would have been at war since Renly. They were supporting Renly. Huh. I don't know what that... I don't know. I don't know about that. That didn't make much sense to me. But, yeah, you know, we're... We're slowly spreading. We're slowly... We're picking and choosing our fights. We're... We're gaining some ground. I'm happy. Oh, we're under siege. We'll fight this next time. Let's rec recruit some men. We'll get two men. Uh, yeah. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.